GNS3 2.0 introduces a number of changes and new features. One of those features is support for profiles. GNS3 can be started with a profile in order to have different settings applied. This can be useful if you need different settings for different use cases. As an example, you may have a setting for home versus a setting for the office. The GNS3 documentation links to additional information on how to create a profile. It's very simple, and I'm going to demonstrate it right now. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.0 on a Mac, but the same principles apply if you're using Windows. So I'm going to go to GNS3, Preferences, Miscellaneous, and check this option. Ask for Settings Profile at Application Startup, Work Profile, Home Profile, and click OK. I'm going to exit or quit GNS3. And then I'll simply restart the GNS3 GUI. And notice I'm now asked to select a profile or to create a new one. So I'll call this ESXi server as an example and click OK. What you'll notice is the GUI layout is different in this profile. And I only currently have a connection to my local GNS3 installation. So as an example, if I go to Preferences, GNS3 VM, the GNS3 VM is not enabled in this profile. I'll exit GNS3 or quit GNS3 and I'll start it up again. In this case, I'm going to select the default profile. And notice the GUI has changed. I can select existing projects. And notice in this integration, I have a connection to my local GNS3 server, as well as the GNS3 VM, which is now starting up. So once again, I have a GNS3 connection as well as a local connection. The GUI layout is different. This is using the classic style. And under the GNS3 VM, I have a connection to the GNS3 VM in this profile. Once again, if I want to jump back to the other profile, I simply quit GNS3 and start it up again. And I can now select a different profile, which has a different layout. You can also select a profile by using the command line, but it's as simple as that to create a profile in GNS3. And this is once again, a new feature available in GNS3 2.0. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.